Look, Teresa's been through the mill lately. You can't take it personally. I thought she was gonna fire me on the spot. She was so angry. Look, anybody could have made that mistake. I mean, it's not like you switched the envelope on purpose. I know, but she really didn't want Ethan to see the one I left in his office. It was supposed to go in the crane safe. But she got it back, right? Yeah, but I don't think it calmed her any. She was more than angry anyway. She was scared. Scared? Of what? I don't know, but I know freaked out when I see it. She definitely didn't want Ethan to see what was in her will. Well, I don't see what the big deal is. There was something else, too. Another smaller envelope inside the large one with her will. It had Ethan's name on it. Well, that's weird. And what was in that one? I don't know. I don't think Ethan saw it either. Hmm. You know, Ethan's my man. And uh, I've always had a soft spot for Teresa, but I don't get it. I mean, why would Teresa give all the crane assets to Ethan as a trustee for little Ethan in the event of her death? He's not even a crane. Meaning I am. Well, you are. You're one of Alistair Crane's sons. Yeah, his bastard son. I mean, I didn't even know the old racist was my father until a week before he bit the dust. I know he was awful, but still, you're entitled to something. <laughs> what are you saying? Teresa should leave all the Crane assets to me? Or divide it between you and Alistair's other children. Well, she didn't. Well, she could have left it, everything to her family. Any one of them could have safeguarded the assets until little Ethan came of age. Look, if I knew why she did it, I would tell you, Valerie, okay? You don't have to snap at me. <sighs> Sorry. You've been snapped at enough for one day. <laughs> Maybe Teresa still feels bad that Ethan was disinherited after everyone found out he was Sam Bennett's son instead of Julian's. I mean, he was in line to inherit all Crane one day. I think there's more to it than that. I think the answer is in that envelope that mysteriously disappeared. You know, you shouldn't have to worry about losing your job. I'll talk to Teresa for you, okay? That's sweet, but I'd rather you didn't. You sure? Yeah, right now I think the less said about my mistake, the better. Mm. I don't want to remind her about how careless and stupid I was. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, let me know. She'll listen to me. She's Whitney's best friend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and thanks. For what? Trying to make me feel better. Mm. You're the best. Thanks again for trying to make me feel better. Anytime. I better get back to work. Yeah. <clears throat>